is Chris, owner of Palace Savvy. In this video, we're going to talk about adjusting and calibrating your rudder pedals and other flag controls. So, uh, I already have X Plane 11 started up, and uh, it's a diamond aircraft, uh, not really that relevant. Is this uh, process holds true for any aircraft that you're flying, uh, that you're using? So, I'm going to go up to the top display of the uh, tool, tool bar, or task bar, I'm sorry. And you're going to go to the settings in the upper right hand right corner. Click on it and it comes up to uh, another menu. And you want to look for joystick. And the joystick, that's a generic term there, but it, it's covering everything. It covers the uh, any trim, any flight controls you have connected here. I have the uh, a throttle, uh, a serious throttle. Uh, rudder pedals, uh, alpha flight control, and, and you know, say, uh, I think I mentioned that earlier, the Satec, uh, or the uh, Satec Cessna trim wheel. So in this case here, what we're going to do is calibrate the rudder pedals. They're already calibrated, so I'm not actually going to go through the process. Um, but here, you notice each one of these, uh, I'll go ahead and move them to show you what you, what options you have. So, you notice up here, I'm going left, right, um, and then um, the right toe brake, left toe brake, and notice here there's a reverse axis button on each one. That's put in there by X-Plane and um, if you fly other uh, flight sims you'll see that same option. For whatever reason, I'm sure the answer is out there just looking for it. I haven't looked for it. Occasionally the you'll get reverse sensing on your controls so the solution the quick solution is to go in here click these boxes if it persists then you probably want to check it out to see what's um uh, get some support on that to find out why it's doing it and um, i find it easier to just click the button if i needed to calibrate this uh let me see how far i can go here click on calibrate and uh it comes up here and i don't want to mess with any of those Oh, what the heck? Yes. Okay, right axis, left axis, right toe brake, release, left toe brake, release. Then it comes up to next, and it says, let go of the controls. I think one of the mistakes there that some people may make is to inadvertently apply pressure to the controls. Where it says let go, you may still have your feet on the controls, or your hand on the yoke or whatever, for your feet on the rudders, etc. Do exactly what it says. Let go of your controls. No reason to have your feet or hands resting on the controls when you're doing this step. So I'm going to go through the next step of hands free. My hands are not touching any controls, even the ones I'm not calibrating, other than the mouse. And I clicked on finish or next, and it goes through the process. It says it's done. And then I click on finish, and it's done. I'm going to leave these reverse axes here. Uh, set set up here, but if I should have problems like if you are pressing the brakes. Let's say you release the brakes in your cockpit and and uh, aircraft cockpit, and you're revving it up, but it's not going anywhere. You don't have the brakes uh, hold on hold. You're releasing the brakes. More likely, what you're encountering is is this part here, reverse axis. So which would mean like right here, if I apply my toe brake here, it, it, uh, it applies brake pressure. Left one, the same thing, brake pressure. I reversed these, so apparently I was having that problem at one time. Let me show you what happens if you release that. Now release, my, I don't have my feet on the brake, and it's showing that I am applying. Remember before, you had the blue bar all the way over here, and then as I applied it, it put it here. Here, I'm not pressing the brakes at all, but let's see what happens, when, and, and the brakes are on, so let's see what happens when I press the brake, right toe brake, look at that, it's showing off, and I'm pressing it, so in the airplane, what would happen is, you're, you're pressing the brakes, and it's, the aircraft is not stopping, you're thinking this, this, uh, uh, rudder, is, rudder pedal is not working. Uh, the tow brakes are not working, but they are because look what what happens when I release them. Then the airplane stops. So 
airplane stops, feet off the brake, and you're revving it up. You're gunning it up. And it's not going anywhere. I mean, it's why? Because you have the brakes. So, here's how you fix it. Go here. I'm going to actually make add that to the video, I think. I think that'll be a good add-on. So, uh, that's, uh, that's it for this calibration video. And uh, thanks for tuning in to Pilot Savvy uh, YouTube. This is Chris, owner of Pilot Savvy. See you in the next video.